Hello friends this is my one more video tutorial on shopping cart, in previous video of shopping cart we have make simple shopping by using session and second video we have developed shopping cart by drag and drop event but in this video tutorial we will build multi tab shopping cart by using PHP script with my SQL database and in this video we will use Ajax method with jQuery so we will add product onto cart without page refresh event. For making multi-tab we will use bootstrap framework for this. This way we will develop shopping cart with multi-tab by using bootstrap with Ajax, jQuery, PHP and MySQL. In one tab we will add product onto cart and in second tab we will display order table with product. This is our testing database and in this database we have one product table with table column like it, name, image and price. We have already inserted some product data into this table. We will first display this product on web page and then after we can add this product into shopping cart. This is our multi-tab shopping cart.php page and on this page we have included jQuery CD and link get from Google hosted library and for using bootstrap framework on this page we have also include bootstrap CD and link. Now we have start writing code, first here we have write session start function, this function will start session on this page. Then after we want to make database connection so for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to locale lost, username set to root password set to blank and database name set to test. This way we have make database connection. Now first we want to make two tab, one table for product display where we can add product onto shopping cart and in second tab we will display which product we have already added into cart. So for here we have write on order list with attribute class is equal to nav and nav tab. This class will create two tab on web page. Under this first we have write list tag with class is equal to active and under this tag we have defined one anchor tag with attribute data toggle is equal to tab, craft is equal to hashtag products, here class active defined current page and tab will be displayed by data toggle attribute and craft will show product to element. This way we have defined product tab. Then after we have write second list tag and under this tag we have write anchor tag with attribute data toggle is equal to tab on craft is equal to hashtag card. This way we have defined second tab for card. Here we have write span tag after card text with class is equal to badge in between this tag we have write a statement with set function with argument like dollar session shopping cart variable. This condition will check value of shopping cart variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with count function and under this function we have write dollar session shopping cart variable, it will count number of array and print under this tag. But suppose value is not set then it will display zero. So this way we will display number of product which we have added into shopping cart. Then after we have write division tag with class is equal to tab content. Under this class we will define tab content with unique id. Under this element we have write division tag with it is equal to product and class is equal to tab pane fade inactive. Here we have defined tab content for product tab and under this tab we will display product for add into cart. Now we want to define tab content for order tab. So for this we have write division tag with it is equal to cart and class attribute is equal to tab pane fade. This way we have create tab content for car tab and under this tab we will display order details. Now first we want to display list of product under product tab so for this here we have write query variable is equal to select start from table product. This query will fetch all product from product table. 
Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect and in second argument we have write query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. Then after we have write while loop with open and close bracket and between bracket we have write miscly fetch array function with dollar result argument. This function will convert query result into associative array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop first we want to display product image. So we have write image tag with sources equal to images slash echo statement dollar row image name with attribute class is equal to image responsive. This way we have set image source and it will display product image on web page. Then after we want to display product name, so for this we have write echo statement with dollar row name variable, this will display product name on web page. For display product price we have write echo statement with dollar row price variable, this will print product price on web page. For entering quantity. So we have create one text box like input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to quantity and it is equal to quantity with echo statement dollar row in variable. This will create unique and for all product and user can enter number of quantity here. Then after we have write input type is equal to hidden field with attribute name is equal to hidden name and it is equal to name with echo statement with dollar row in variable. It will create unique and for all product name and from this element we will fetch product name in query code. For storing prices we have create one input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to hidden price and unique kit is equal to price with echo dollar row price variable. This way we have create unique and for all product price and from this hidden element did we will fetch product price in query code. Lastly in product display we have create on add to cart button. So we have write input type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to add to cart that is equal to dollar row in variable. This will create unique and for all product and in button we have write class is equal to add to cart. We will use this class name in query code as a selector. This way we have display all product in product. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for add product into card, so when we have click on this add to card button then product must be added into card, so in jQuery code we have write dollar add to card class of button on click event function, so when we have click on add to card button then this code will execute. Here first we have write variable product it is equal to dollar this attribute method with it. Here we have fetch product id from button in which we have store into it and by using attribute method we have fetch and store into this product id variable. Then after we have write variable product name is equal to dollar hashtag name plus product with value method. Here we have fetch product name from hidden name variable and store into this product name variable. After this we want to get product price. So we have write product price is equal to dollar price id plus product did with value method. Here we have fetch product price from hidden price variable and store into product price variable. Then after we have write variable product quantity is equal to dollar quantity id plus product did variable with value method. Here we have fetch product quantity value from text box and store into product quantity. After this we have write variable action is equal to add, here we will add product into card, so here we have define add action, we will use this action into PHP code. Now we have write of statement with condition product quantity greater than zero, here this code will check if value of product quantity greater than zero then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block.
If suppose value of product quantity is less than zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert message like please enter number of quantity. But suppose value of product quantity greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have define ajax method and under this method first we have write url option set to action.php. It will send request to this page. Then after we have write method set to post, we will post method for send data to server. After this we have define data type, so we have write data type JSON, we will receive data from server in JSON format. Then after we have define which data we want to send to server, so we have write product id product name, product price, product quantity and action data sent to server. Lastly in Ajax method we have write success callback function. This function will receive data from server and store into this data argument. Some code of this function we will write later after writing PHP code in action.php.